Mm, what's up guys? This is the Rofelman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire to the Wall Let's Play of the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode we have we have kicked off our, our landing on the west coast of India. We're going to take back the ancient, <laughs> ancient in quotes, um, Portuguese territory of Goa. The garrison is tiny so we should be able to overwhelm them pretty rapidly. Um, so we want to just we want to minimize casualties uh, wherever possible because we have to anticipate a, a determined Maratha counterattack. We do have reinforcements on the way, however, we are kind we are still counting on Ceylon recruiting um, additional troops to maintain the breakthrough and any offensives you wish to do. So yeah, after this battle, I need to make sure that Ceylon is recruiting. So we don't miss out on anything um, in the end turn phase. And we also want to go around and look for um, any Maratha fleets in the trade zones. You know, we've this is the first hammer blow. Let's make sure we strike a good one. So it will just be the one breach. My guns will be after their mortar battery. We're not going to be doing anything fancy. We're not going to be going crazy trying to assault. We want to take this as bloodlessly as possible. Let's get my howitzers to just clear out the centre. We're climbing the air. Killed their general. Just get to work, really. Um, we, they should be able to do a huge amount of damage here. It's the mortars we really want to get. But we've killed eight of them. That's not bad. We're going to take a few losses to their artillery fire from the peasantry. But the main thing is we just massacre. Uh, to be honest, you may end up just having to round shot because they are not likely to get the Quick line's a bit tricky from here. The round shot will still do. Although I do really want. So if I try and attack around here. Okay, I want to watch this, watch this, see if it works. So I break through the command house, but I don't think. No port. Yeah, so that didn't work. So they, they picked their own targets in response to that. So let's try... Keep one attacking ground here to try and win, thin down the troops in the front. Uh, my line needs to swarm at all with all speed. We do not. They've only got one battery, but I don't want them to focus on any one unit. So we need one Howitz unit to keep working on. Actually, I might get my guns to work on this sector. No, come on, give me the... There we go. Time to perfection. Run! Is they're going to fire? Yes. <laughs> Killed a view of my crosshair. That's fine. Mortars are firing. Howitzers are dropping more. Quick climb in. Excellent shot there. That is a huge amount of damage. Are the mortars actually firing? They are firing. So, we're going to cover the breach because they may charge out. Well, they will charge out. If we send some units to secure the this section of the wall, they will run out to try and stop us from attacking. So, let's set up our line. To be honest, the, the foot artillery can cease fire. 
You're going to try and scale the wall. You're going to rely on the artillery fire, doing good work. Another volley from the mortars. The main thing is, really, we didn't want... See, here we go. So, howitzers. No, nope. just drop shells right here. So they are most interested in... Actually, to be honest, the quick line. Focus all your fire on this breach. Although you may not reload in time. But yeah, there we go. It's one unit shattered. Another unit shattered. Send my crossier after the Pindari horsemen. How it's this fire now, they will get a huge amount of kills. Go on, you men. Fire at will, because you're against the camels. Cease fire the foot artillery. Cease fire the howitzers. Get in. And there go the mortars. Excellent. Everyone shattered. The city is ours with minimal loss of life. Because yeah, I am anticipating the Murgles are going to jump on us. So we, we, that kind of means we, that's the reason why we didn't want to auto resolve. Because that will never happen. Well, we will we'll take loads of damage from our for our other armies. We could fortify, but we don't want to. Okay, good. You're ready to rock and roll, Ceylon. Look at a guard unit. Okay, that's the last of the guards. Increase some infantry. So then, no targets here. Ah. Just a handful of sloops. So let's just wipe them out. We are going to secure the crossing for now. We need a... So your escort fleet being built. We don't have any... None of our trade fleets are really ready. These are more escort fleets. One, two, three, four. So we get three thirds and some fourths. No, no seconds. Two, three. One, two, three, four. And then. Um, no, no seconds. Two, three. Three, four. Just to start off, your recruiting recruitment is still ongoing. Let's get some cavalry here. So you're well provisioned with cavalry. You're getting your entire artillery complement. Let's get Two units of fusiliers. Let's get a unit of guerrillas. So yeah, we need a trade fleet to go out there back to the Straits of Madagascar, because then this entire territory is ours, which is really nice. West Indies doesn't look like we've got many. No, Venice, Genoa, and Sweden. So no, East Indies is as good as it can be. This area, Genoa. I mean, I may, I will want to send a fleet out to Brazil. Um, but for now, we're going to keep on doing what we're doing. Make sure you're replenishing. Everyone's pushing up. You're going to hold there. You... 
that's super useful there. Let's go down to Ardabil, send you down here. Get some intelligence on what's ahead of us. Apart from that though, I think we're going to hit the hit and turn. Our agent's converting, going nicely. Okay, let's get ready to withstand the Moogle, or well, the likely Moogle uh, Counter-Strike. Lots of recruitment on the go. Lots of ships being bolstered in strength. Nice work. So, perpetually concerned about Austria. They could declare war at any moment. Ah, Spain. I forgot about Spain. I meant to... So the island on the right is the one I want to kill. This one here I'm going to auto because we've already effectively killed the garrison. You need to be destroyed. Well, that's exciting. My 3080 just turned up. Um, I'll sort that out later. So, Sweden wants to give us to give them Lithuania, and they'll give us Estonia. So no, they want us to give them a proper city for a small city. And threshing machine? No, we're not interested. <laughs> Gunning it back up the stairs again. Need to be careful of the Swedish fleet, especially with our, our naval forces are so scattered. We are building in strength. We've got a massive shipbuilding program on the go. It might be worth actually looking at those fleets just to check what they are. They could be fairly harmless. Now they're going to push us out of all of the harbours that we've, in, we've raided. That's their prerogative. Huh. No Counter-Strike. Savoy's making... Well, they're heading eastward, which is really cool. Persia is not making any moves. They appear to be content with their one colonial holding. Saxony's not causing any trouble. Nice. So we're going to keep on building our navies, get our trade fleets built up. Good, good, good. Okay, you need to be fought. Oh, cool. Like we, So we've got Rome. I mean, we fought the garrison largely last turn, so there's not much point in doing it again. Don't have anything to knock down. Probably don't need the seminary, but I'm not going to worry about it yet. Holland, get a craft workshop. New port emerges in Georgia. Yeah, trade fleet will be fine. A trade port will be fine. Construction. Okay, gunnery school we've done. Marrakesh gets nine masters works. Must admit, I am a bit less interested in micromanaging Europe now. Now that we're starting a new war in India. When Europe kicks off, I will probably then go back and make sure everything's ship shape and Bristol fashion. But for now... Well, we largely did it. We've already positioned a lot of forces. Yeah, lots of this investment in Naples needs to be very carefully watched, because we could be about to lose... We won't lose it. We'll defeat that Spanish army. But it's interesting they didn't try and attack us. Normally the AI is quite determined in that kind of thing. What that does mean is that you, here at Satara, well first of all, you're a dervish unit. We're going to put Satara under siege, which we will fight. And then you are going to head towards Mysore. Put Mysore under siege. Aha, we have more ships. So get these sloops out of the out of Agadir. Agadir, No, there you go. Make sure you get in. Repair. 
Now you're here to replace this fleet, which is depleted. So you might fight that Spanish ship on the way out. It's a galleon. We didn't lose any ships. But we definitely need to get back for repairs. Fleet arrives here. Ah, oh, excellent. You're already here. So you men take position. Yes. You men raid. And this fleet get back to Europe for repairs. Excellent. So we own that entire region. We own almost all of the Ivory Coast. So that was that other fleet. Are you and Ah, you are an army. What are you doing here as well, Ottoman Empire? Ah, you would have been recruited up in Basra. Hmm. Where to land? Make landfall here. Provide another act of threat access towards our cart. Feel free to attack us, enemies. We short one ship, go to Bombay. All the ones that have... There you go. Anyone that we've not... Anyone, anywhere we got booted out from, just lay siege to it. More sixths. Just kind of bolster each of these ships. Each one of these individual ships that are currently raiding. Turn them into a smaller squadron. Your recruitment is ongoing. You have ten... I can't get any rockets. Ten slots. You need howitzers. Less company infantry. Good. Workers on strike and calling. Not anymore. They've chilled out. So we took central Italy. Okay, before we do too much fighting in India, I want to make sure I do this one. Because this is a fight that we have to do. Ultimately, I may move this fleet out. Because that's a battle fleet. We've got one... One in Valletta, one blocking the Adriatic, one in the Black Sea. We don't need all of this firepower here, so let's bring you out to the west. You're guarding the Strait of Gibraltar. So you're available for tasking. You may go to South America. See what we can find. So, back to Spain. Back to Italy. Let's not repair that. Move you guys south. And then smack Fabio Cervante. Send them scurrying back northwards with their tail between their legs. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's smash forward. Take him out. Oh, Liberty, Liberty, what crimes committed in your name? Well, this time at least we know our Liberty is pretty darn good. I mean, I must admit, in Rome, um, I inevitably always enslave the populations when I take them, unless, they're, unless they've been very naughty and they attempt to rebel, in which case then they get put to the sword. Um, needless to say, I do play... I play Rome in the spirit of how it should be played. No no liberation for me, no sir. Form our battle line. Skirmish force on the right flank. They get the heavies. Lights and my general on the left. March straight at them. Let my artillery go to town on whatever they choose. It's going to be their gun team. Yeah, 12 pound of foot artillery. But let's get the howitzers cleaning out. Some enemy formations. Ooh, 
Light Cavalry versus Regiment of Horse. Strictly speaking, I think the Regiment of Horse have this. The 82nd, if they can put a volley into them, that might level things out a little bit. Kill a few men, if we can rout them. Excellent. If I get my skirmishers up, they're going to wrap around the flank here really nicely. Oh, sound shenanigans. Keep pushing forward. Okay, bring in my cavalry. Ah, a bit too keen there. You can make the 17th route. Good, get in there, heavy cavalry. Skirmishes push up. There goes the enemy light cavalry here. Good hits. Bad hits. Quick line, switch to round shot. Oh, it's a switch to round shot, rather. In a pursuing action, round shot is a bit safer. Foot artillery is still going to be engaging their guns, and that's just fine. Probably stand to sprint my general past this engagement. I want some cavalry here waiting for the tenth to break. My general is going to be shot at, which might be problematic, but may also not be a massive deal. Guys, climb, take the high ground. Yeah, it's always to be expected. It's a big clump of light infantry. It's un it is unseemly to not expect them to get hit by enemy cavalry at some point. My heavies should deal with them. go. Enemy general's fallen. Uh, how it's fire. All my artillery really stop shooting. Household cavalry go for the militia. Everyone else just to clear the way. Just chase down as many as you can. I'm not overly bothered about who or what. In this case, any dead Spaniards in general, that's what we're interested in. Slaughter them. At least my general should get some more experience here. howitzers. Engage the general's bodyguard. They're about to get shot to ribbons. I mean, you can run, but you can't hide. And militia. Oh, you're lucky. So lucky. Let's speed up time. Because right now we're just going to be shepherding cavalry around. Come on, you've still got some fellas to sweep up. 
So while I'm doing this, I'm also keeping an eye on the other cavalry in my army to make sure they are if they're, if they're moving. There's only three guys left, and that's these three over here. Try go for them, general. Nope, everyone's going to escape. You may as well. You all may as well come over here and help this cavalry unit mop up these five militiamen. Although my light cavalry, I might just give them an order to run over here. Because they're barreling through my army and I'm, a, I'm always a bit cautious of them doing that because they may end up just killing all of my men. They got him. Excellent. So that's pushed the. That's pushed a, this Spanish army back north. Get back into Naples just in case they try a quick smash and grab. We've got Rome, which is nice. Let's get all the buildings repaired. Damage replenishing. We can't really recruit anything else. So let's get rid of. So we've done this, 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 this. Done all the fleet arrive stuff. Got a lot of good recruitment going on. Trade we raided, those are all me. We captured Central Italy. Let's take this force. Polygar. That's different. Don't normally see those. Um, let's take Satara from the Mughal Empire, and this will be this will be a very, 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 very good capture for us because it means we can actually recruit um, proper armies on the continent itself rather than having to import them via uh, overseas or from Ceylon. So I'm I'm quietly confident that we're going to start bashing through. Uh, the Marathas quicker than they may like, especially because the southern part of India is incredibly wealthy. So let's go over here. We may get attacked by oh, dervishes. Frustrating thing is the dervishes themselves aren't a problem. It's just if they catch my artillery unprotected. They can cause a disproportionate amount of damage. Mm. Oh, yes, please. Hit the center. Shells away. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so. Because it has an area of effect, even if you hit... Yeah, well, you, you, you can see what's happening. The shells are impacting here, and that's the limit of their range, but they have a an egg-shaped area of effect. I'm still able to um, damage their units in the center, even though they're not actually within range. Hey, there's a polygar. Not so sure. He looks a bit funky. Well, to be honest, they all do. He looks as high as a kite. No, no, not him. They're also being hit by misses from this wall. Yeah, so part of what makes these fortresses less valuable is it's dead easy to knock down the walls. I mean, I know I got four batteries of 24 pounders. Still, it's very easy to cause a lot of damage. So I am going to advance because they have no, well I believe they have no mortars. More quick lime, yes. We're killing a lot of their, oh, it's so, it's so beautiful. I think the artillery is having a go as well. But yeah, the amount of kills we're getting, it's just so, it's so, temp it's hard to not do this, because look, 
This is all the heavy cavalry. They got melee troops in here. Hindu warriors, dervishes. Siladar lances who look pretty neat. See, if you damage, do enough damage, you kill all of them as well. Oh no, you don't. Oh, you have to knock it down. We will do. Killed a bunch of my own guys for running in front of the guns, but... We do this for... We do this for proper colonial reasons. You men will march in front of any guns as I see fit. Oh, I fast forward just to the time the quick climb comes in. Okay, let's run our line up now. So they are going to try and charge out. We're doing so much damage to them. They can't just sit here taking it. Like, look at all these cavalrymen. Look at them all. They're all gone. Just a mess of sabers and dead horses. Or talwars, or whatever the Indian version is. I believe in sharp, it's like a talwar. But I wouldn't quite, I wouldn't claim to be a historian and then say, oh, well, they're so good in sharp. <laughs> but it's all we got to go on. So if we lose, if we get sieged, we will still have all this damage to defend, but we don't mind. We've got a huge amount of firepower. We can defend if they want to do something like that. So let's take... Put you guys like so... These are guards, actually. We haven't do you don't see guards very often. Oh my god, I hate that. I do not like that one bit. Green coats and pink cuffs. Ugh. Yucky. But here they come. They're charging out. of enemy collapses. But yeah, they're going to charge out because, understandably... Well, no, not you. They have no recourse. They can either sit there and get hammered or they can push and try and do some damage to us. And you know what? Lots of the cavalry is so damaged, I don't really care. Push my cavalry up. There goes the Pindari horsemen. The armed peasantry are wavering. They're broken. Look, as soon as they come out, they break. You men scale the walls. We don't need to scale all the walls, but I'm gonna. Ultimately, this is just catastrophic for the enemy. And all my artillery is focused, so my full artillery is bombarding the here, and my howitzers are bombarding each of these other reaches. You're wavering, yeah, you broke as well. <laughs> Just absolute carnage. They have no hope of trying to resist us. None whatsoever. Oh no, gunners. Wait, who are you? I was going to say, you managed to survive. <laughs> Beautiful. If you guys shuffled this way, you'd get even more kills. Because even more units would try and rout through you.
Okay, now we storm in. Oh, it's a ceasefire. Two guards go after the armed peasantry. You men just go straight for the center. Everyone <clears throat> running. Victory is ours. Ceasefire the foot artillery because they're attacking this breach. Right where all my guardsmen are pushing in. the guardsmen so one of you run over here to keep fighting one of you start the uh, count here come the where are the dervishes they're coming in from there they are far too late you can run in all you like you're still going to suffer Charging the rear of the Indian guards. They're winning, but now they are surrounded. You men charge the Dakil, get them surrounded, then the whole army may break. They only do good work, but not good enough. We're going to kill enough of you cause you great upset. You men get up here to secure the gate. Oh, and you men get over here and attack the Indian guards as well. That's, that's in more than enough men to attack one unit of peasantry. You men cease fire. And look, the, ca the flag is ever so slowly being lowered. There we go. Well, as in she has chosen that flag, it's broadly the correct coat of arms, but it's an interesting flag choice. It may be super historically accurate, I don't know. Either way, it looks cool. A little bit more pressure and they'll all run. Only these two units plus the... Actually, I can get you guys. My artillery just to open up on the dervishes. They're wavering as well. So if we bombard them. There we go. The garrison's broken. They've routed. Excellent. A significant capture for our forces. So Satara is a fantastic springboard. From which to pounce. And it appears they don't actually have a lot of strength nearby. So let's get all this repaired. Let's get the university destroyed, repair the port, si, si, occupy it. We may as well upgrade, we've got plenty of money, we can afford to lose it if they siege us. We have no towns left developing. If we get rid of the university, the upper classes will be okay with it. They will be down, it'll be down to minus six, we'll become minus five next turn. We'll get some positives from rebuilding these territories. It might be okay. But yeah, this university is going to become a Catholic building. So we've landed two more armies off their coast. Let's... Yeah, we're destroying, dismantling you. Let's hit end turn. Ah, Moscow. We've got some building to do. More reinforcements, more conversion. We're kind of effectively just helping Savoy now because we are converting their the regions they want to capture into the religion they want. But uh, we've got an eye on them as well down the line.
you're going to come back and raid. Yeah, that's your prerogative, you know. If you're Spain, there is a limit to what you can achieve. If the Ottomans are going to rebalance against us for some reason. Hmm, curious. Very curious. <laughs> you demand Malta and Hanover. I mean, Finland's an interesting offer. But they'll just teleport their armies onto in, down into Estonia. No. They hate us. But if they wish to do battle, then we will... Uh, we will allow them that honour. Especially as our naval build-up grows in strength. Dare you do anything, Sweden? Looks like a whole lot of nothing. The Maratha Counter-Strike, is this it? It looks like it. It might, have, it might have taken them a bit of time to get their troops down from the north to actually respond to us. Savoy. Ooh! Savoy going for Cairo and Damascus. That's really cool. Excellent. So we've got Savoy and Saxony to, to create a bit of an axis against Austria. I may give a state gift to both to both Savoy and Austria. Saxony, not to, not Savoy and Austria, um, Savoy and S Saxony. So you're going to come back here and just wipe them out. Then you're going to push up to the east side of the mountains. Okay, repair the farm, repair you. Moscow. Actually, you can recruit, recruit a sloop for you. Moscow, the building work can continue. A lot of industry buildings. And the port in Finland, not Finland, St. Petersburg. Upgrades across the board, fleet arrives. Ooh, another army. So you're gonna, actually, you could park yourself just outside. You're gonna land your army here because they are gathering in strength, looking to maybe strike north against Goa. I don't have a problem with that. I just want to bolster the defense, especially when you can just demand the surrender of Mysore. <laughs> like, there was no massive army to take, Why there's no massive army to destroy, or garrison destroy rather, so why rock the boat when we can just demand the surrender of the territory and get rid of another college for them? Okay, let's get the military production buildings upgraded. Let's get mass recruiting company infantry, because we're going to want these as garrison forces. In... Are you going to do the same? That was going to say. Although that might just be an auto-resolve, because it's just a weak unit. Blip. Yep. Yeah, we've got plenty of fights to come, so sometimes when we're fighting against little fragments like that, we don't have to worry. Um, do you have any more towns? No villages left. So I'm afraid, Cochin, 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 you're going to be replaced with a church school. So lots of this building we have to leave. 
Two more turns till you're done. I think we probably have enough firepower in India. Meaning Goa, we can't really do much more than recruit militia, which we're going to do to help contribute to garrisons and so on. You're going to maybe pull back to here. You've almost got rid of the religious unrest. Okay, let's do some building. We have an economy firing on all cylinders, but it could always be better. I mean, these regions in the east of Russia have seen investment on the level of which they have not yet seen before. So just upgraded the army board in Kyiv. Good. Keep on building. Can you now leave? Yes! More troops for the Indian front. We've got you down here, although you're still... Actually, are you, are you good then? Yeah, you have howitzers. No, not to Europe. Uh, get, to get to India. Um, East Prussia, Kiev, Ukraine, Ukraine. Good states. The, we did the cottage. And we took. That was it. Good. Lumber mill we've done. Max upgraded. The port we've upgraded. Church school we've upgraded. So much good upgrading to be done. And I imagine, even though the AI might not necessarily see us doing it, they're definitely aware of it. They've got this, they must have some sort of internal accounting that says, yeah, well, their economy's growing like this, and their, and their military's growing like that. Letter of demands from here. Well, no, they've chilled out. New men replenish. So we're starting to generate some income. To the point, actually, let's get our ministers. Plus one management, plus one happiness. You're better, but my India ministers five stars, which is really handy. No, leave it like that for now. When possible, these areas will need to recruit some all Indian mercenaries. Neat. They'll need to recruit some small forces to clear out some troops behind the lines. Or actually, you could do that, maybe. Um, but either way, let's hit end turn. You're making your great walk across the uh, central US. More recruitment. Excellent. Are you making a thunder run towards Ankara? Because it's not going to work. You have to land with more strength than that. Spain is, yeah, raiding away because they can't stop us. Oh, I never gave them their uh, state gift. Oh, you're going to cross over? Good sign. I mean, they've already been quite badly weakened from losing Cairo and Damascus, the Ottomans. They demand the Northwest Territories. No, and they want to give me Estonia. They really don't want Estonia, do they? sure those fleets look big and scary but they're probably just rubbish you 
You're an R domain now when you're in the med. Okay, now the Marathas are maneuvering. Uh, do you want to lure them in? I want to say no. Potentially, they're not very, they're not very strong. Let's intercept them. If we don't, it'll only, they'll only add mass to a subsequent engagement. So we either we can either knacker them now, or we can wait till they grow stronger, and then <laughs> then they still cause then they cause more problems as part of a larger army. We might be a bit depleted, but we can form a good gun line inside the... Actually, they'll be attacking the opposite side of the city, so... Oh no, our engineers have done stupendous work. And we are back up to full strength. So my 24 pounders... Why right at the back and see if you can fire over the heads of my infantry. How it says deploy up front. Go. It's always these corners. Actually, that's the first time I've deployed. So with the Indian fortifications, it always feels like there's a knack. So it was, it was here. That was the better result. So for example, if you try and deploy from the gatehouse to the left, Actually, that worked, but most of the time you have to go this way, inwards, at least in my experience. Um, I did just do a bunch of... I could just to show a few examples of where it didn't really matter. Uh, but yeah, let's get my rest of this infantry in. There, the reserve. See, are you going to fire over the heads of my... They are going to fire over the heads at the enemy guns. Nice. Get my howitzers working on quick climb. Ah, oh, quick climb right here, please. Hit both his units of cavalry, and because it's because we're attacking ground, the AI doesn't really seem to get what that means. The guns on the wall are beginning to open up. Like that. 30 odd cavalry from there, roughly 30, you know, 60 horsemen have been killed there with that volley. I mean, if Sikh warriors get into combat, that's a bit dodgy. So let's bring another unit of company infantry up directly as a, re as a reinforcement. Maybe two units up as direct reinforcement. Make one unit of Bajir infantry break. That would be quite useful. Oh, they're recovering. Okay, get you guys up here. Drive them back. Excellent. I concentrate your firepower on the first to kill and shoot at these guys as they retreat. Oh, the Hindi musketeers are going to get their grappling hooks up. Okay, 
Here they come. Okay, one howitzer unit can keep engaging, the other keep dropping quick climb. Actually, they're getting closer. That's pretty neat. Force them off of the walls. They're, they're, oh, they're dying almost as fast as they can get up. I mean, these drummers are just... You don't have to shoot at nothing. The unit of Bajir infantry is going to get hit from multiple directions. They're just... Ooh, starry skies. Low res starry skies, but starry skies nonetheless. So I want to see when these guys engage. The gunners are standing by. Firewall off, firewall on. Here come the enemy mortars. In fact, if we push their infantry back, then the attack will fail because they can't get in. Although they have mortars, so they could feasibly still get in. These are the guys that wanted to worry about, the Sikh warriors, because they're beasts. Is this regiment foot reloaded? Make sure the fight will off then on again. Volley! Broken. You're shooting at the camels. Interesting choice. These guys are making it in. They're not under fire. They're, they're able to push in. Losing a couple of guys now because this regiment of foot is opening up. Let's begin folks firing those mortars. Oh yeah, they're gonna start pushing up. Here come the mortar shells. God, we shot a guy off the thing. He just fell straight down and killed a bunch of guys. There we go. They're broken. So I'm fairly sure if we just do this, the howitzers will get the howitzers to focus fire the mortar crews. And then when they route, everyone else routes because no one can get in because they're only cavalry. Still reloading. Yeah, if we knock them out, everyone, everyone goes home because they can't get in. Everyone, just uh, yeah, just quick line whatever you like. I 
There we go. They finally worked it out. Maybe the camels, the camels might have been able to dismount. That might have been why they stuck around until the camels routed. We lost 35 men. They lost a thousand. Excellent. Yeah. So there's infantry to the east. They are. Yeah. There are there are risks. It would be foolish to deny there are risks. Ah, they've pulled back from Goa. So now my army that's deployed near Goa, the second one, they can head south. And provide some support to help clear out that uh, territory. Savoy so is. Oh, they've gone for they've gone for Jerusalem as well. They've got a little Middle Eastern Empire set up. Let's see if they can do anything with it. Venice has declared war on me. We're going to call our allies because they've got. Austria is their ally. Because you force Austria to pick. You have no friends, Venice. And how Austria smells blood. I think you screwed up big time there, Venice. Because doesn't... Uh, it's because they got a front line with us. That's what it is. But yeah, Aust uh, Venice also has... Uh, Greece. So Austria wants Greece as well as Venice. So you drive up the east side. You can fall, you can stand to leave Rome. You men attack Eugenio Diaz and just kill him. Excellent. Then in Rome itself, let's get things built and let's get some, just some infantry cover. Lots of raids, which we don't care about. Construction. Engineer school. There we go. nice having having to scroll so far down to actually get or you can get to somewhere that's got um, something to upgrade nice wineries upgrading okay cool 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 so if you are a Venetian ship. You do not change the status here. You don't change it here. You do change it in here. Because Venice has two trade spots. So, to be honest, have you got militia here already? Okay, I need to. I need you to crew militia because this port looks like they, it might be a. First port of call for ships that are damaged, in which case, actually, yeah, you go and just annihilate that brig. Just so it doesn't get up to any mischief. And you sail on to the East Indies. You, you guys. Actually, you might recruit two militia here. Because I got a feeling we're going to do the same again. Okay, you need to replenish. So now you're, you're a trade fleet at full strength. So you go over to the East Indies. Because we've got capacity there now. You're still recruiting. Okay, so you're going to be a escort fleet so you can get something like that good 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 so venice if you're venice 
you got a port you can blockade here so that's choked off a good portion of their income and you've also got we can recall this ship from actually no let's rec let's use this fleet sends the galley oh no patras you haven't your port isn't actually developed so you can't be blocked off anyway so let's keep on building advance towards venice but you're not going to you're not going to take it so we've done that and then it's a Spanish ship. It's a Spanish galleon. Excellent. So. Yeah, you're recruiting escort ships. That is fine. Ah, trade fleet. Good. To South America with you. Recruit some fourths out of Porto. This escort fleet can pick up. I mean, I am keen just to slowly keep growing most of my fleets to be full stacks, because why would you not? So you're okay. You are going to head south along the coast. You're going to hold here. It's tempting to push, but we're not going to. Just keep recruiting. Same here now. Recruit stacks of troops. You're at full. No, you're nearly at full strength. One more turn. Then you can also deploy to help clear out this area. They're scrambling, but I don't think they're. They're definitely not knocked out. But that's it. it was a, that was a decisive blow dealt against them. They've gone, they've gone quite cavalry heavy, which is good for us. So Mysore, get a church school. Nearly got this one in Kolapur built. Okay, I think I still want to hit end turn. Recruitment keeps on ticking forward. There you go. Austria is now redeploying a bunch of troops to their new front lines. They're gathering armies ready for the attack. Although, except for you, you're, you really want to hold on to Istanbul. Where are you going? The Ottomans are holding on to whatever it is they can call their own. Sweden attempts another give Karelia. They will give me Estonia. In theory, that makes a bit it makes a bit of a better front line. But I like going in Karelia because it gives me alternate axes to axes of advance against Finland. So no. And I don't know why they're so determined to give me a thrashing machine. I don't care about thrashing machine. That's the really nice thing about, you know, mid to late game. You do just kind of think, you know what? I don't care about technology. I will get it. I've got plenty of money. I'm not quite sure what you're up to. This is going to be... Oh, there we go. Okay, so now this is where we're going to start seeing it. The Marathas are going to be bringing their firepower to bear. Okay. 
Okay, so they, they may plan on trying to steal some of my technology. You can raid if you like. We don't need the income. Let's see how the Savoy Empire expands. They may go on to Baghdad and Ankara. Persia looks like they're getting up to their old tricks again. Jinho has just gone. They're quite content with Genoa and Bastia. But you know what? We aren't content. We got we have big ambitions. You've sabotaged a tea plantation. How will our empire ever recover? New port emerges. Corpus Christi in Texas. Raids. Two more armies to land. Let's see how secure Ahmedabad is. Because we can land in Poor Bandar and run straight up to it. Not very secure is the answer to that. Okay, we're going to land two, a second army here. And our agent is going to push out infiltrate. We'll try infiltrate. Must admit, you're a Portuguese man trying to infiltrate India. You stand out somewhat. Just demand the surrender. There's no way they can... Oh, he executed an agent. Get the Grand Opera House. We don't need the need. We don't need any of the production anymore. Poor Bandar, trading port. You head that way. When they move, we can choose. We can lure them into the attack. So they are now useless. This this happened. I've never had this happen with me, but it now has happened. So all of this, all of this, useless. It's useless because they get stuck and they can't get out. They are, they only deploy on the battlefield when I lose the territory. So they are effectively useless. So here's the gamble. Here's the wonder. How depleted is depleted? Although you are mostly all cavalry, we could hold off against that quite well. So I may just go for it. Very depleted. That's my answer to that. Yes, we are definitely going to fight this, but we are we are absolutely over the time limit. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we slaughter some Maratha forces. Cheers, everyone.